Hello, my crafty friends. Look at all I have left of this lovely flower market kit by Club Echo Park. What am I going to do with this? Please stay tuned and find out on the rest of the kit. I made 21 cards out of that set and I still have a little bit of leftovers left. Hence the name leftovers. But let me show you what I've done and a few tips along the way. This was probably the easiest card because I cut the corners off of this paper. It was probably made just for scrapbooking because it was blank in the middle and you can put pictures. But at each corner, on opposite corners, there was this beautiful pattern. So I just cut it five and a quarter by four. I added ephemera that I popped up with mini dimensionals and I put duck egg blue nouveau drops. Here's an example of the five and a quarter by four piece is not matted, but the two this is about two inches by five not quite five and a half. And then this is a cut apart, and I matted this also. And then here's one where I just used this matted. This is matted with black, the bees, and then the spring flowers, uh, four by four cut apart. Three and a half, more like three and a half by three and a half. And here's another example of five and a quarter by four piece, the two by five piece, a cut apart, and then I just matted the cut apart. And I matted the pa this pattern paper piece, the flowers, and then I matted the cut apart, the shimmering pink, Nouveau drops and a little puffy sticker. A whole piece of pattern paper unmatted, then a piece here in the middle, and then this is another three by three. And then I, I used the duck egg blue Nouveau drops. And then I used my corner punch from Stampin' Up. I used a sticker, a little bee chipboard sticker, and I matted this back piece. And then here's one where I divided it, a uh, three by four and I, I just cut it into two thirds and I used both pieces. And this is a piece of ephemera. This is a piece of ephemera popped up on many dimensionals. And this is a chipboard accent. And then here's a piece of ephemera that I put a ribbon on. This is mauve. It's from Stampin' Up. I don't know the exact color, but this is the opposite pieces. And then the, I use the daisies in the middle. And this is matted. You can just see it peek out just a little bit. And the bees unmatted. And this cut apart matted. And then in the middle here is the daisies. This is a piece of ephemera popped up on many dimensionals. And none of these are matted here. The butterfly five and a quarter by four. Then we've got the pretty black and white and then the cut apart. And then we have a puffy sticker here. We have a puffy sticker here. And this is real pretty though, kind of the wildflower. And it is matted on mint macaron. And then this pink checker and then this is a sticker. And then we've got the matted 
daisies. We've got a piece of pink check and we've got ephemera that's popped up on many dimensionals. And then I did one landscape style. This is puffy stickers. This is a cut apart and it was blank inside. So I just put this sticker in there because it matched. That's a little bit more basic. And then this green plaid, the other side are the seed packets. So I did cut out several of these. I matted the green with white. And then I just put the seed packets on. Bloom and grow. And the little butterfly chipboard accents. Now I did make three Z fold cards. And I used the washi tape. This is a cut apart. Now, what I suggest you do is when you're when you're cutting your paper to make a bunch of cards and you want to make some of these, go ahead and trim your 12 by 12, the, the little end piece that has the information about the company on it. And then cut in like two and a quarter all the way down, two and a quarter by 12. So you have that strip for each piece and then you can cut the rest of it five and a quarter five and a quarter by four if you like so that you can make your cards and here's a second one it's washi tape just hides right behind when you close it and then this one oh happy day And then this is my only five by seven. I had the one card base left and the only embossing folder I had big enough was birds. See this? And so I used, this, is, this was my opportunity to use the big cut apart. Now, last but definitely not least, one of my favorite cards, and I'm sure it's one of yours too. This is my last card. This is number 21, and I made a quilt card again. I just placed them kind of wherever, random. The bees, the butterflies, and then mint macaron for the frame. The Nouveau Drops are duck egg blue. And I chose this sticker because it kind of gives us a message of hope. Gather the ones you love. Hopefully soon this nightmare will be over and we can do that. Thank you so much for your time and attention and support. I love you all so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.